friends. Welcome to the weekly update here at the nursery. Hope y'all are having a great week. Okay, we're in greenhouse number two. Um, y'all, I don't think we can stick another plant in here. I mean, there are plants everywhere. Jerry's tiptoeing. Hopefully he won't crash to the floor as he's spanning. Um, but yeah, we've got lots of plants in here. So we've got hanging baskets in here galore. We have got perennials galore. We're so close to getting the new greenhouse done. We just have to get those side curtains on and some water and we can move plants up there. I hope you all enjoyed that little video we did um, that Christine put together, my creative genius who put that awesome video together. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, scroll back to like on Saturday and you get a really quick little short video um, of us putting the plastic on the greenhouse. That's a 30 foot by 72 foot greenhouse. So it was a little big. It was kind of fun putting that top layer of plastic on. I thought I was going to go flying like a kite there for a minute, but it all turned out great. So check out that video. That's a lot of fun. I want to show you some of the fun perennials that are just, man, they are happy in here. They are growing, growing, growing. Um, first that I see right here, um, is the desert plains grass. You can tell that Jerry has the heat cranked up in here because look at all this new growth. Desert plains by its name loves the heat. This is a perennial grass in here. So we do a lot of annual grasses that are fun, but we also have a good number of perennial grasses. This is a PW plant. It is a full sun. It gets to be about a four by four. Um, and then in late summer, put on some really pretty white plumes. Perennial grasses and grasses in general are a great addition to your landscape. It doesn't have to be all flowers or just all green shrubs. Perennial grasses are a great addition to your landscape. So make sure you think about that. You want color and texture in your garden, not just all the same thing. So we've got a great green grass. Then look at this one. I love this. I love this. Come out color. This is blue whiskers. This is really fun. Again, it's a nice soft grass. This is not like when I was growing up, my mama had pompous grass and she'd always like, don't touch it because it'll, you know, cut you to shreds. But these grasses are nice and soft. It's okay that you play with it and your, your kids touch it. Um, but this one is a full sun to part shade and it's a shorty. It's only like a 10 to 12 inches tall. So this will be great at the front of the landscape or even in containers to give you a different texture. Now, if you did not check out the video, I think we posted it yesterday on pruning butterfly bushes, make sure you go and look at that because this is the perfect time of year to get your butterfly bushes pruned back and your hydrangeas that bloom on new growth. Why am I talking about that? Because right here we have the Grand Cascade butterfly bush. Um, this is one we did it last year. These are new plugs for this year. And guess what? This old girl needs to get trimmed back because she's already starting to put on some blooms, which isn't a bad thing. But if I don't go ahead and trim this back because it's in this warm greenhouse, it's just gonna get really long and leggy and just look spindly. So I'm just gonna come in here and give it a nice, see this is a, a bud bloom that's coming on. So I'm just gonna come back and probably pinch it back to like right here, here, here. So we've got to go through all these butterfly bushes and trim them back so that way when you come and get them in you know late march april may they're not all crazy and gangly so this grand cascade is a gorgeous one i love it um the bleeding hearts are doing amazing i mean y'all these things are just gorgeous this is a really neat one this is new this year this is that king of hearts it's like a fern leaf. See how the texture on that is just gorgeous. It's exquisite. We love this thing. This will definitely be going in my landscape somewhere. And it's really cool is that it can take more sun. Typically bleeding hearts are a strictly a shade plant. They do not like the sun at all. They'll go dormant. This one will, because it's the king of hearts, will last in the sun. Of course, you do have to water it, um, but it'll be a, It'll keep its foliage all year and it's a rebloomer. So this is a great one to do. The astilbes are coming along. The um, perennial salvias. I mean, look, we're tiptoeing through all these plants because they're just growing like crazy. 
So tell you what, baskets are going great. Let's go on next door if we can get in without tripping over plants. Hello. We're walking. So what you been doing today? We've been busy with landscape consults. I tell you what, we put out the word for y'all to talk to us about landscapes and y'all take us up on the offer. It's great. Oh, well, I'm thinking about it. Okay, the ramblings of Jenny. Next Saturday, not this coming Saturday, next Saturday is February the 29th. Jerry and I and Christine will be at the Southern Spring Show um, running the Proven Winners booth. So be sure and come and see us. I know we've got some of y'all that are regular attendees of the Southern Spring Show. We have Proven Winners because we are uh, running the exhibit, their booth. They sent us 30 free passes to get into the show. So we would like to pass on that to you. So anybody who wants free passes to the Southern Spring Show, it's not date specific. This is just, you know, for the time that it runs, of course, we'll be there on the 29th. So we really want you to come on the 29th and come see us and say hello so we can hug your neck. But if you want to pass this, come by the nursery this Friday or Saturday, anytime between 9 and 3.30, and we'll happily give you those tickets. We are going to kind of cap them off at five um, tickets. We're a family of five, so I was going to do four. And I was like, no, we're a family of five. So if you're a family of five, we're going to give you five tickets. So come on out to the nursery and we'll happily just give them to you so you can get in for free. So that's something that's exciting. Another thing, um, I have started getting messages from you lovely folks saying that you're getting your gardener's idea book in the mail. Some of you got them yesterday. Some of you got them today. So yay. If you were a customer of ours at all last year and you filled out that little slip, you will be getting one. So you should have gotten it maybe yesterday, today, in the next day or so. If you are not one of our customers and that you've not been to the nursery, all you have to do is go to provenwinners.com and request your free book. They'll send it to you, no obligation. They'll just, it'll appear in your mailbox. It is a great book of simply ideas, ideas of how to put containers together, talks about the aquapots, all sorts of fun things, combinations. It tells you exactly how to plant them. So make sure you look for your PW Gardener's Idea book. And another very exciting thing that happened, we get our UPS deliveries at night. I think we're like the, practically the last stop of the night. So we get all of our UPS like at seven o'clock at night. So last night, our beloved Dave brought us, look at this, are you ready? <laughs> we got Proven Winners Slow Release Fertilizer and the Water Soluble Fertilizer. So we will have both of these available for sale for you. These are fantastic products. So of course, the slow release is great. So if you're making containers, you're, when you're planting in the ground this spring, you add a little bit of this to the ground, to the soil, and um, it gives you great food for your plants. Then you want to come back with your water soluble later on, um, and you do this about once a week, once every two weeks. And this is a great thing. Now, Proven Winners is different because it has extra iron in it jerry's having to help me here extra iron that your typical water soluble fertilizers do not have so this is unique to proven winners it is really beneficial for your um, petunias and your calabricoas those types of flowering plants it gets in that really dark green leafy foliage and gorgeous blooms so both of these will be available and of course we do have the pw potting soil mix available too this year all right Let's check on the babies. Let's see how they're doing. Some of these are kind of like turning into teenagers. I mean, I've, I've showed you lemon coral every time. Look at this. Look. Look at our beloved lemon coral. I mean, they are just taking off. They're lovely. A volvulus. If you have a hot, dry spot, a volvulus is for you. It does these gorgeous blue blooms. They're a part of the morning glory family. So we know that morning glories thrive here, even when we don't want them to but the blew my mind of ovulus is great very drought tolerant but not invasive it's not like a regular morning glory which interestingly enough all of pw's plants are sterile so they don't drop seeds 
So if you've ever had a pesky plant in the past that's dropped seeds everywhere like morning glories do, their plants are sterile so they don't do that. So that's really neat. Look at this sun patient. All right, we've got one that's trying to put on a little bloom here. This is the um, tropical rose. This was one of our biggest sellers last year because of one, the foliage. So it's that bicolor foliage and look at that nice hot pink bloom. And of course the sun patients, now they can get, you know, a good size, 12 to 24 inches tall and wide based on how much water. They really love the water. So the more water they get, the bigger they get. So right now we're trying to keep them a little dry because we don't want them going to town yet. So the surefires are doing great. The rose, the reds, they're doing lovely. Um, everything down here, you can, of course, you can see the diamond mountain down there in all its glory. Vermillionaire galore, more of ovulus. These are all the annual grasses. We're kind of keeping them tamped down right now. We're not really wanting them to shoot off quite yet because they'll just get so explosive huge. But we have the fireworks, which the more sun it gets, it's that flaming red, really great. This is one I'm super excited about. This is vertigo. This is one of the largest annual grasses that Proven Winners makes. Think of a purple fountain grass, but bigger, the blades are bigger and almost like a black like that deep, deep purple that's almost a black. So this is going in the landscape in a lot of different places around the nursery. So you wouldn't know it right now because it's very green, but you can see how wide that leaf is. And it has a dark vein going down the center and then it will turn to that nice, dark, dark purple color. Hanging baskets. Yes, we've got them. Plenty of hanging baskets. And then look at all these babies. Again, so we just got a shipment in last night of all the little little plugs we've got look at this gorgeous leaf on this sweet potato vine i love this this is the um, jet black by pw really fun heart-shaped leaf if you're not into heart shape well then come on over here then we have that one that has the really serrated edges on it i don't know which one that is the tag's not right there it's another PW one. Lantana, we got Lantana, the Portulaca. Then we've got the green sweet potato vine with the heart shaped leaves, the impatience. I mean, all sorts of goodness stuff. So we have got lots of going on. We're going to be potting up plants to get y'all ready. Um, everybody's got the bug to get out and dig in the dirt. Now's a great time to do some prep in your garden. Pull the weeds because the weeds are growing like crazy. You want to add some mulch, just clean things up. You can go ahead and do that. There's plenty of things to do in your garden right now, even if you're not planting annuals. It's a great time to plant shrubs. Great time to plant some perennials, even if they're dormant. Like I've even been thinking about planting some hostas in different areas. It's a great time to do it. So hope y'all have had a great week. Hopefully we'll see what this weather does. Maybe we'll get snow, maybe we won't. We will find out. But Looking forward to seeing you at the Southern Spring Show next Saturday. Come see us. Come say hello. We will talk to you soon, guys. Bye.